How's it guys? What is up? Hope you guys are having a phenomenal time. Hope you guys are having a great one. And yeah, I am back. I know I've not been posting for a while and also know I have not done a review video in forever actually. So today, probably you've noticed just from the title of my, um, well, of this video, you've probably figured out by now this is a review video and you've probably clicked on it because it's a review video of the graphics tablet that I'm, that I'm currently checking out. So Today we're reviewing the Canvas GT220 V2. Now, this is really uh, something that I've been looking at getting for myself for a long time. And I used to draw, I used to edit with the old school Wacom little tablet thingies. Um, let me actually show you guys. Wait. So guys, this is the old one that I used to use. Um, as you guys can see, this is a the basic one. It is prop. It is actually I think it's the entry level one. Um, it served me well. It is phenomenal. Has some drawbacks on it. Reasons why I up wanted to upgrade to something better, which I've done now. So this is the old one that I used. Um, this is the new one that I'm using. And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of review on it. So let's check it out. So what we got in the box. So what we got in the box was we actually got this. Pen. Now, whoop de fuck. You get a pen with uh, the Wacom tablet as well. But they get, free of charge, they include a second pen. Now, I know for a lot of people that's not a big deal, but for me, that was pretty, pretty fucking cool because I tend to lose that pen often and then I'm like frantically looking for it and in hopes I can find it, which was a real, real irritation for me because, like, when I want to work, I want to work. And to me, that was a big deal to not be able to find a pen. Now, having a spare pen just somewhere that you can, all, like, you can put it there and it stays there is a just, it's phenomenal benefit. So, having a spare pen, big benefit, came in the box free of charge. Secondly, um, this, this little pen holder. Now, this was amazing as well to have. Now, for, now I get it, like, Yuion, like, Yuion is not the only one. Wacom also does it. Um, I was just really looking for something that, to, something that has um, a place for my pen. So this is not the biggest deal, but it's still something very nice. I like the finish, I like the design on it. Um, you don't necessarily have to just put it in like that. It also has a little bit of a slip like that. I know, big deal, guys. Not much different from Wacom, I suppose. Um, spare nibs inside the bottom of this thing. It also has a bit of a weight in there, so it doesn't block some over every few seconds. So, yeah. To me, that was a big plus. Now, the pens are battery operated, but... It comes with a charging cable that, that plugs into the back there. So you can simply just, when you're not using it, plug it in and charge. I've not had an issue of the battery running flat and me not having to work. To be honest, like once I'm done, I'll probably put them on charge. Sometimes I forget. And I've had days of not charging this and still work. And it still works. So yeah, big plus. Batteries last long. Now, also, weirdly enough, you get this Michael Jackson type of thing. Um, this might not seem like a big deal but it just really it is actually really really nice uh you put it on your hand like this it only covers your your pinky and your ring finger and for me that's nice for when you're busy working and uh, i suppose you can also use this thing multi-sided on your left hand depending on what uh if you're right or left handed i'm right handed so for this demo it's gonna be right handed so when you're busy working it's nice because when your hand is touching the screen it's got this silky glove to uh, be in contact with the screen so you can rest nicely on it and just draw. So for me, that was a nice little added benefit. Just one of those things that make you feel special, you know? So other things included in there were cables, like an HDMI cable, there were power cable. Um, the other cables were the, were the VGA, DVI, and yeah, those are the, the standard cables that you use to plug into your computer. Now, I want to add this. I use a Mac. Um, the Mac does not have an HDMI port in the back, so you have to um, go buy yourself a adapter for it to be able to use the HDMI cable. It needs to have the adapter so you can use it. It, it, it kind of sucked, but that's not a fault on you, and that's a fault on Mac. You know, Mac not having an HDMI port, which is actually really stupid. But just a fair warning for you guys, it's something I had to do. And yeah, just so that you guys know. Also, um, you just need to check what country of origin it is because it does come out with uh, certain power sockets or, you know, the plugs for your power. Um, 
Mine came with an American one. Obviously, I couldn't use it because in South Africa, we use different power plug, uh, power points for our plugs. And I had to go buy a separate one, uh, a spare one for me to use. So, yeah, just something for you guys also to know. Experiences from my side, I want to be as transparent as I can. Also, it comes with the little um, bracket that you can put that that is attached to the back of it that can flip 20 to 80 degrees so the screen can of itself stand straight up or lie straight down almost and yeah it is a bit of wobbly on the edges but if you actually figure out the way you draw it is so it's like very negligible um when you really see it is when you press and release press and release and it like wobbles but then be honest are you gonna be full weight on the thing or uh and then let go completely then full weight and let go completely no once you put weight on it, it is stable as hell. So that is pretty much for what came in the box. So I want to show you guys some demos now, a little bit of why I like the device so much. So hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, so I set up uh, three little tests, three little different things that you guys might be interested in, something that I use. So number one will be, um, I just want to show you guys the different pressure sensitivity and how it reacts uh, on different colors and stuff like that. It reacts the same, but I just want to demo it for you guys. Also, um, for me personally, as a photographer, I do a lot of model shoots, uh, skin retouching and stuff like that. I want to show you guys that on it and how easy it is to work with the graphics of it on that. And then lastly, I want to show you guys a little bit of um, Photoshopping a light, which is the same as kind of, it's the same principle in all of these, but I just want to show you guys the difference in the press, pressure sensitivity. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this demo. Okay, so we're gonna start off by just showing you guys some pressure sensitivity. So this is gonna be a short fat one, whereas I'm gonna go from soft to hard really, really quickly. As you guys can see, soft, hard. Now let's try and do it a little bit smoother on this one. Eh, not my best work, let's try that again. That's not too bad. Okay, so on this one, let's see. Um, I want to show you guys how, like, the big difference. I'm going to be soft the whole time. So as you guys can see, the size of this, um, of my brush and how small that line is. It's not straight, but how small that line is. That was me applying minimal pressure on it. And that is a, like, that just goes to show the pressure sensitivity and how phenomenal it is. Now, I want to show you guys, like, on the back one, um, it, it looks a little bit different on different colors. So I want to show you guys both. So again, from soft to hard, as you guys can see, big transition. Doesn't look as big as the white, though, does it? Now let's see how smooth we can make this one again. Um, then near the end, it kind of like sh like I shattered, but like as you guys can see, again, very smooth, very quick response. Um, it, it's just phenomenal, like the pressure sensitivity. And again, let's see, keep it soft the whole time. So now, um, the reason I bought it is for skin retouching. So I want to show you guys, even though it's this big of a like, I want to show you guys this big of a size. Now. I'm going to click there and I can work on that tiny of an area. Like it, it does cover the entire area, but because of the pressure sensitivity on this, I can work on very small detailed areas. Or if I want, I can work on big areas. So it all depends on your type of style. And this to me just makes it so much easier because when back, back when I was using the other one, it was a bit of an irritation because I constantly had to um, first hover over it and then pr press down and then sometimes I move an inch and which pissed me off and I could never gauge the pressure sensitivity because I can't I have to look up the whole time and I have to look forward at the screen while I'm doing it which feels unnatural I like sitting like this and being able to edit this is nice okay so you guys get the whole deal between that one so let's go now to do some light shaping on this so this photo I shot in um, just just before sunset, but because I wanted to be in sunset, I want to show you guys that how phenomenal this thing is to make sunset. So I'm just going to add on this corner a bit of rim. As you guys can see, there's rim here, but I like having this one 
because I can see it on the fluff, but I don't know why it wasn't showing up here. So let's do this. Okay, first, let's change the brush. This type of stuff I like layering a bit because then I can work like that and then put it no because then I can work like that and I can lower the opacity especially on this one here Now what's nice with this is because I saw I went over the edges there, I can come back in and be precise along this and just delete them. And I can see exactly what I'm working on the whole time. And as you guys can see, I just went a little bit over and I can quickly add that. See, it's nice to be able to see exactly where you're working the whole time. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of an informal edit. Like I said, I've had this thing for about two months now and I really wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, uh, more of a personal feel about the thing instead of just a normal review. I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of an honest feel of how it felt when I was busy working with it. And I do really love this thing. I think it's an awesome buy, a really amazing purchase, exceptional for bank to buy. And for somebody as meticulous like I am when I'm editing, I don't like struggling. And like trying to edit with a mouse is like trying to paint for brick. So I really needed something to up that type of area for me so I can feel a little bit more comfortable while editing for long hours. Now, I want to get into a few things. So when I was installing the thing, it was conflicting with my Wacom tablet software, so I had to remove it. And also, um, it was difficult for me to figure that out. I was struggling on that. Everything was up to date and I was completely confused. What is awesome is when I went on Facebook to Yuion's uh, Facebook page and I just messaged them, they responded immediately, gave me amazing feedback and tried to help me the best that, I, uh, best that they could uh, from my explanation. And they did a wonderful job. So really Yuion is a fantastic company to back. Now I'm not saying this because I'm paid. I'm not paid at all. Um, I'm doing this because this is fun. This is something I can share with you guys. Um, and I love helping people move forward and helping people understand a little bit more of my workflow and helping people get uh, a better feel for what they want their workflow to be. So not paid at all, just kind of a review for fun of it. So that's all from me guys. I have no other words to say. Uh, it is at the end of my rope and my understanding of these things. Hope you guys learned a little bit more from the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, if you guys want to see more reviews, please leave a comment down below. Also a like because that's the way I gauge if I should do more of these videos. Also ring that bell um, notification icon. Apparently that does some shit that YouTube says it does. Also subscribe if you want to see future videos and subscribe to help support the channel. And yeah, that's about it for you guys. Peace out. See you guys later. Arrivederci.